Hey guys, um, I'm just making the review on this one now, the Black Bear, um, Airsoft Face Protection. Um, by the way, in this review I'm not going to be doing that and, like, shooting it because, you know, it's a lot of money, um, and all that. Um, anyway, let's just get right into it. Uh, it's got this basically, like, hard to a mesh material. Um, and then it's got like, it, it's, you know, very hard, um, now BB will damage that, like, uh, depending on how much FPS, but it's really hard material, and it's got like, you can get these all different camos, I got this camo, the, I don't know what it's called, um, very modern and all that so it's used by these clips here and show you what it looks like on you yeah um two of them it's just easy to put on and all that um the inside is that's what I'm telling you very soft um and then it's easy to see through this. From the outside, it doesn't look too easy, but it's fairly easy. Um, and I'll just uh, put it on. Just lay my camera down there. Um, you can also, by the way, tighten these straps just by pulling there. Uh, both of them are able to be tightened. Um, it fits me fairly well. Um, like, it can nearly fit about every size. Nearly, anyway. Not like if you've got a really small head. But, nearly every size fits. Um. Quite like this face protection. Um. It goes a bit wobbly if you don't tighten it too much. It, it should be though tight enough that your forehead is like on the sides bit touching it um and um then so basically i haven't been to a field with like this on the other end or with my gun and that's for one reason i've only had it for like um about week I'd say well about five days I've had it since my birthday I don't know uh, but yeah my it does not too much really to say about this um mask oh and it is by the way this um material here it goes into about there uh it goes like inside the mask part uh, and this here is all treaded on um, all the thing like this here the hard part is treaded on um, doesn't really protect the back of your head and if you are using this one of these masks when they do get shot, right, you should probably, you know, you wouldn't have to wear, um, airsoft glasses, but just sunglasses even, just because a little dent will come in the mask, and then, um, some, like, little sprinkle pieces of paint should go in your eye, they would, so just wear sunglasses, like, you don't have to wear airsoft uh, things, like, the BB probably would be a little bit hard to get out afterwards if this did happen. But I don't know, because, like, I actually have seen people shooting them on other YouTube, but I haven't seen it. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, this is quite a nice mask. Um, it's comfortable enough, like, it's not, like, really, really comfortable, but it is comfortable enough, you know. I mean, who cares if it's a bit, like, you know, 
if it's not really comfortable. But it is comfortable, like, for an airsoft mask. Because I did try another few on, they weren't very comfortable. They were sort of, like, scratching my chin and all that. This one, though, um, good. It's, um, in Ireland, it's 37 euro. Um... Yeah, uh, I'm not sure about UK and America. I think it's like, um, about $50 in the US. About, probably about $57 in the US. Um, and in England, about 25 quid. Yeah, um, anyway, I'm very happy with this, um, hope I didn't bore you or anything, but that's it for now, and this is me signing out, bye!